Number one, do not change your job due to low salary. If you are going to do this, then this would be the biggest blunder in your career. Let's understand why we should not change the job based on salary factor. First of all, we tend to declare ourselves that the salary whatever we are getting is low comparing with the other salary who are working along with us. But we don't realize the fact that why the other guy has received the higher salary than us. It could be because of his, uh, uh, your, uh, his previous experience or because of his uh, negotiating skill during uh, the uh, salary discussion with HR or it is purely because of his uh, unique skill that he has possessed compared to others. So we have to understand that everybody gets the salary based on their potential skills. The skills could vary actually. And one thing we have to understand that most of us do not have the guts to negotiate the salary with HR. We are ready to accept the offer as and when we receive it because we have a fear that if we start negotiating, we will lose this offer. Tell me what I'm saying is right or wrong. The candidates who possess the ability to negotiate the salary with HR gets the more salary. I mean the huge salary compared to others. But most of the times we don't do it because we don't want to do it. We don't want to get into a discussion where we are fearful that we will lose this job or not. Right or wrong. So it is purely based on the skills. It could be a technical skill. It could be your uh, negotiating skill or it could be uh, your uh, the performance during the interview. So what we have to do is that we should stop thinking like this. Stop thinking that we are getting a low salary and the others are getting high salary uh, comparing that the, the number of years of experience are same with the both of us. This comparison is logically not right because consider uh, the person A and consider a person B. Uh, the person A can learn faster in three years than the person B who can learn in three years. Right or wrong? The potential of uh, a person uh, differs from B person. So it's all about what is your amount of knowledge and how you are able to perform during the interview. So if you are able to do this, then you will be able to get the uh, good salary. So the one thing if you are feeling that if you are so uh, deprived that your salary is low, you can do this thing actually. Go and try to give an interview in multiple companies and see whether you are able to get a better offer than your current position or not. If you are able to get a better offer, take that offer and discuss with your manager so that he will probably able to increase your salary. But do not quit your job based on salary factor. There are many other factors which are required actually, which are to be considered while changing the job. Salary should not at all be the factor. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Now let's go to the point number two. Do not change the field while you are changing the job. Most of us what we tend to do is that we tend to change the field just because that we want a complete new beginning. But we don't understand the fact that whenever we move to the new field we are being considered as a fresher. Being a fresher you will have the knowledge only as compared to the fresher not like an experienced. So the previous uh, effort, uh, the time and effort you have spent in order to do something or learn something in your previous experience has been completely useless actually. It has become waste. So the wise decision in order to, um, while changing the job is that, carry over your previous experience. You can go to the different role, you can go to the different uh, responsibilities. There could be many things that you can do. So it is all about remain, remaining in the same field in a longer period of time so that you will be able to learn it actually. Consider this situation that in a span of 10 years, in every 3 years you are going to change your field, what may happen? At the end of 10th year, your knowledge is not more than a fresher. So how can we expect a person who does not have a knowledge to be considered as an experienced and to be paid equal to the experienced guy just because your number have gone down? The numbers has no value in the industry. It's all about your knowledge.
if you are having two to three years of experience and having an uh, immense knowledge about this industry uh, better than uh, 10 years experienced guy you will be receiving the salary which are com com i mean equal to the 10 year experienced guy that is what the industry we are in now so don't go with that conventional mind that just uh, because that you have completed your engineering in this particular date and don't calculate your experience based on numbers. Your experience should be calculated based on your true experience in one particular field and the amount of knowledge you have. So changing the field is not the right decision. Stay in one field. Try to move to the different roles with higher responsibilities in the same field so that you will be able to explore, you will be able to add value to your previous experience and moreover you will be able to sustain better than going to the new field. So this is all about changing the field. So do not change the field while changing the job. Let's go to the point number three. Do not take the role same as your current role while changing the job. Because you are changing the job for some betterment, you are changing the job for some improvement. But if you are going to take up the same role, like your current role, what is the use of it? You have to find a job where you can explore more than what you have explored in your current job. So that is the ultimate uh, benefit of uh, changing the job actually. It is not only about the salary because as I said, if you are going to look after, uh, I mean run after the salary, you are going to remain in the same uh, position. But here what we are trying to achieve is that improving your uh, responsibilities, I mean improving your skills to handle multiple responsibilities in a bigger role. So if you are going to handle a bigger role, naturally your salary will be increased. Like uh, the company will not be able to give a smaller salary for a candidate who are much more capable to handle the bigger role. So the ultimate goal should be the, to increase your responsibility and ability in handling the multiple responsibilities in a project. So by this way, naturally, you will be able to increase your salary also. Uh, consider this case actually. Say for an example, uh, you are working in a company in one particular role and you are moving to a new company in the same role. Remember, if you are moving to any new organization, you will not be able to uh, get the promotion for another three years because you are just new to the organization. So your previous experience and as well as in the new company, you will not be promoted for another three years. So that amounts actually a significant period of time that you will stay in the same situation and same designation. So let me talk about uh, just designation in a one line. The designation uh, given by the company doesn't matter anything actually, because I have seen uh, the designation uh, of a junior engineer performing the lead engineer uh, responsibility and at the same time the designation of the lead engineer performing a junior engineer responsibility. So it doesn't matter what designation you are but it matters what you are actually doing with your designation. So, if you are going to change the job, you have to understand that your ro role and responsibility is bigger than your current role. So think about this uh, because I don't want you to stay in the same position even in the new company, in the new organization when you are moving. You have to elevate from one point to another point. So take some time, don't be in a hurry to uh, change the job, so consider uh, moving to the higher role and a bigger role where you can uh, explore your opportunities. You may fail, that's perfectly fine, but over a period of time you'll be able to learn also, right? So failure is the first step for our learning and if you don't fail, you will not be able to learn and moreover, the learning from the failure is the one thing that will remain in your uh, memory for a longer period of time. So consider this, do not change your job in the same role as your current role, okay? Point number four, don't accept based on your interested place. Let me tell you the reason for not to accept the job offers based on your interested place because you do not know that how much you are going to explore this particular place. Say for an example, you are moving to uh, a Delhi to Mumbai. Let's, this is just an example. I do not have any intention to uh, degrade any cities or uh, any um, uh, places in our country. So it is just an example that I wanted to give you. You do not know 
what are the places that you are going to visit in Mumbai. Say for an example, you have 10, 20 places. Okay. So you may be exploring these 10, 20 places in two or three months or in a span of uh, six months or in a span of one year. So you'll be able to cover most of these places. If you are going to choose your job offer based on your location, you will find yourself stuck in one particular point. This is what I wanted to tell you. Because the acceptance of the job offer should be based on various other factors. Like I said, it should be it should give you an opportunity to lead a bigger role and it should uh, give an opportunity to explore uh, uh, different responsibilities. And moreover, if you are not interested in that particular company or uh, if you are not uh, uh, happy with your role, you wanted to uh, move to the different company and different roles so that you should also have this facility or opportunity in the same city where you are moving. Imagine if you are going to a city where you don't find companies or where you don't find opportunity in your field. What do you do? You have to move to the different location. So by moving to the different location, the amount of money that you are going to waste for relocation is much higher than staying in one particular location. So it's always wise enough to choose a place where you can find more opportunities. If you want to explore the places, you can go as a tour. Go to a different cities, a different uh, places for tour, but do not consider job offer based on your interested place or uh, based on uh, just because that uh, you got an offer from your favorite uh, uh, the travel um, uh, country. It could be from USA, Australia, whatever be it actually. If you are deliberately wanted to move, that is a different scenario. But only based on uh, the location, do not choose your um, I mean, uh, change the job because this is what most of the guys does actually uh, because we tend to wait for an offer. The moment we get an offer, we are more happy to uh, uh, shift to the different uh, cities actually just because that we feel that okay, this city is more uh, good for our travelers. We don't understand how much we travel. We don't realize now what is the magnitude that uh, I mean uh, the, the, the frequency of travel that we are going to make it. It is just a perspective that you have by copying others. So please don't do it. And the last one, the last one is that do not change the job just because you hate your company or you hate your manager. Say for an example, uh, you're changing your job based on uh, the fact that you hate this company, you hate your manager. It may happen that you will experience the same thing in the new company also. Because here, when you are experiencing such kind of situations, you have to analyze who's right and who's right or wrong it is only upon your perspective you cannot justify this with anyone right see if a company if you feel there is a company where thousands and two thousand people are working and you're the only one experiencing this i'm not saying that you're wrong actually but do not change based on this factor so in that case what you can do is that you have to set a definite period of time like in another two years I will move out of this company but I will make sure within two years I will learn as much as possible I'll tell you the reason why you have joined in a company and within three months you wanted to move and these three months nobody will consider as an experience so you cannot justify this just because of I don't like the company I don't like the manager I moved out and you have to put a fake experience so in the wise manner, if you can reconsider your option, you can still do a better uh, job by learning many of the things that you can learn from this company and then move to the different company with a bigger role. Here, two things you are gaining. The first thing is that you have patience. And second thing, you, are, you have an ability to manage the different set of people which you have a tolerance to it actually. So these are the things that you have to understand in your um, while changing the job. Don't take any uh, decisions based on uh, emotional, um, I mean, uh, sentiments or emotional uh, values actually. See, if you don't like some person and try to avoid them and if you don't uh, like this company, don't focus on what the company is performing. Just focus on what you have to do. Make sure that whatever that you do are true to yourself and uh, you are able to learn something new from your activities. So this is what all we can do. We cannot go on complaining about the company, how they perform. It's about the company management to do it actually. Your role is to perform what you have to do and you are recruited for some reason and you are doing that particular activity. And moreover, 
it is always wise enough to analyze before joining analyze about the companies analyze about the the culture of working culture of the company before joining because while accepting this offer it is our responsibility to check it but most of us don't do it we tend to accept the offer as and when it comes so this is our biggest problem actually because we have the fear of losing job if we discuss more if we ask more will we uh, will be able to i mean uh, do we uh, receive this offer or not this is the fear actually this fear will reside within you until you have you have uh, this uh, until you get a confidence about yourself this confidence comes when you have a genuine knowledge genuine experience and the 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 strength of your knowledge which where you can define yourself because wherever you go you will be able to find this you will be uh, able to experience the same similar situation that's what i'm saying actually if you are trying to escape then you will uh, experience the same thing in your future also so how many times you are going to run away so you have to stop you have to put an end to it the moment you put an end to it and change your focus to something else to what you have to do in a better way say for an example you have a comment you your manager is giving lot of comments about uh, your work actually try to improvise it because by improvising you are not only improvising the job you are improvising your ability in delivering something which are acceptable for the higher level right so this is what we have to think don't take it too personally and don't take it um, don't hurt yourself by taking the comments uh, in your mind actually so be relaxed all the time we have to focus on our career we have to engage ourselves in order to improve ourselves at least 1% better than the previous day so in order to do that we our focus should be on our improvement our improvement comes when the ability uh, we when we improve the ability to handle different responsibilities and uh, different ability to handle uh, the bigger projects and ability to handle more people in a much more comfortable way than others there is no point in scolding uh, the team every day and there is no point in keep changing the job just because that you are emotionally driven with all of these factors so i believe if we are able to stop this five mistakes we'll be able to get a better job with better salary with better responsibilities i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra